Welcome back everyone to another episode of Steam at Home. In today's episode, we are going to return to the topic of coding. Last time we talked about code, we discussed the art of sending secret messages called cryptography. You can go back and rewatch episode two if you need a refresher. But this time we are going to be discussing coding that involves programming. After watching this episode, you will be given the chance to apply what you learn by trying to escape a coding escape room. Let's get started. For today's episode, we are going to be utilizing a free app called Lightbot Code Hour. You can download it for free in both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Don't worry if you can't download the app, you don't actually need to have the app in order to complete today's challenge. The object in Lightbot is to code your robot using simple coding commands to light up all the blue tiles on the grid. The commands you can use are as follows. The up arrow command tells your robot to try and move forward one square. It is important to note that the robot will always try to move forward in the direction it is looking. Sometimes this means Lightbot will try to walk right into a wall like this. The next command is the light command. This command will tell the robot to try and light up the tile that it is standing on when it receives the command. You'll see the robot squat and have a yellow circle appear over its head when it attempts to light up a square like this. The next two commands are the rotate left and rotate right commands. These commands keep Lightbot on the same square, but get it to face a different direction, like this. The command that looks like a spring is the jump command. If there is a step in front of the robot when this command is given, it will jump up or down onto the step like this. But if there is no step, Lightbot will simply hop on the spot like this. Again, you want to make sure the robot is looking in the right direction before trying to jump. Finally, the P1 command tells Lightbot to do all of the commands that are kept in the Procedure 1 file located here. This allows you to repeat a series of commands easily. For example, in this challenge, we see that Lightbot will have to move forward, then turn left, then move forward again, and then turn right. Then Lightbot will have to repeat that same sequence of commands three more times. So if we put that sequence of commands in the Procedure 1 file, then in the main file you only have to give the robot the P1 command four times, followed by one light command, and you will accomplish the goal. Now that we have done our Lightbot tutorial, let me explain how the coding escape room will work. By clicking on the link in the comment section below, you will be taken to a Google form with multiple locks that looks like this. In order to figure out the code for each lock, you need to watch my clue videos and figure out what the mystery commands are. Watch Lightbot carefully to see what it is doing at each step. Let's do an example. This lock's codes are the mystery commands in this Lightbot video. Let's watch. Here we see Lightbot moving, and I'm going to be trying to figure out what these three mystery commands are. I think I might know what it is, but I'm going to watch it again this time in slow motion. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure I know the answer. The first mystery command was a jump. The second mystery command was a turn to the right. And the final mystery command was the light command. I can see the yellow dot flash above the robot's head. Great, so the lock combination is jump, turn right, light. To put this combination into the lock, I'm going to type the first letter of each command into the answer space like this. J for jump, TR for turn right, and L for light. I'm going to use all capitals with no spaces. And voila, I unlock the first lock. When you unlock a lock, you will be given part of a secret message. Collect all the parts of the secret message and then use the secret message to unlock the final lock to escape. I'll say goodbye, but keep watching to see all the clues for unlocking the locks. Have fun reverse coding and we'll see you next episode.